Welcome to House Talk, with videos that'll provide maintenance tips unique to Trilogy at Vistancia Homes, with your host, Doug Bowman. Hello and welcome. Hey, how old is your microwave? It's probably not this old, but there's a good chance that it's a GE Profile model. Hundreds of Trilogy homes were built with the GE Profile series of microwaves and ovens and refrigerators. And like many other 10 to 15 year old appliances, they're starting to call it quits. These profile appliances do have an attractive look to them, but what do you do when one of them fails? Well, here's some options for microwaves. You can go with another brand, but it kind of breaks the continuity of the GE Profile brand throughout your kitchen. You can go with GE's suggested Profile replacement model for about $419, but be aware that the new models have completely different trim kits and that the new trim kit's gonna cost you another 220 bucks on top of it. The next obvious option is that you can go with a repairman and roll the dice to see what it's gonna cost you to fix your aging microwave. The most common microwave part failure is what's called the Magnetron, which can be anywhere from 90 to $200 just for the part. Or you can look at this option. The model you're looking at here is actually a GE non-profile countertop microwave that's sold in store at Lowe's for $229. Of course they don't make a trim kit for these, but with a little bit of adjustment on the old trim kit, you can reuse it on a brand new unit. That's a huge savings. Here's the unit installed, and you can barely tell the difference. My original microwave trim package used a hidden bracket on top and another at the bottom to hold the trim in place. All I had to do with this new countertop model was to install the top bracket as it was originally installed and throw away the bottom bracket since it no longer fit. Then, all I had to do was center the microwave in the opening, which for me just meant I had to install a spacer under each side, snap the trim back in place, and then toenail two screws into the cabinet frame. You just have to be sure that any spacers that you install don't block airflow in and out of the enclosure. Boom! Saved 200 bucks. It was easy, secure, and at the end of the day, it looked just like the original did. Well, I hope you found this information useful. You may not need it today, but if you subscribe to my House Talk channel, you'll always be able to find it if you ever need it. Thanks again, and don't forget to hit the like button.